some people like to do some pretty dangerous things like riding on the top of a moving go train. That's exactly what one person did and even posted the illegal act on Instagram. What do you think of that? Terrible. Just dumb. It looks like a young man is on top of a very fast moving uh, go train at some point in the last little while. It's under investigation now. Incredibly dangerous. That train is going very, very fast. You can feel the how the wind uh, that is being picked up is uh, got him off balance. And it's a very short clip, so it's hard to know what happened as a result of it. So what kind of penalties could this person possibly be facing? A variety of penalties. At the very least, it could be things like banning from our system. It could be uh, very hefty, hefty fines uh, into the thousands of dollars. It could be, uh, you know, spending time in court and needing to get a lawyer. This isn't the first time a wild ride like this has been posted online. Only in Toronto. Oh my God. Back in April, a video on Twitter showed a man riding on the outside of a TTC bus. Back of a train. And in February, a 20-year-old York University student pulled a similar stunt, hitching a ride on the back of a TTC subway and posting it on Instagram. So what's with the need for attention? It's probable that he's what I call type T personality. The T stands for thrill. And uh, these people love to thrive on risk and challenge and change. They want to try new and extreme things. The attention is uh, the icing on the cake. And uh, social media helps because you instantly have a global platform for your thrill seeking. The thrill seeker may also be getting attention from the police with an active investigation underway. They're breaking this down into screen by screen by screen. Currently, transit security officers are investigating and there could be thousands of dollars in charges for this person. And if police get involved, there can even be criminal charges.